chasing all the lights And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby I really wanna make you mine Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're just joining us now, welcome! I'm in such a hyper mood today, like it's honestly a joke. I've been up since half six. The puppies woke up to go to the toilet at half six, so I took them downstairs and we went to the toilet. But honestly, like, I didn't go back to sleep and they didn't go back to sleep. Well, they did, but I didn't. I just wasn't tired, so I was like, I'll get up. So I filmed loads of, like, cleaning TikToks from my home account. Honestly, I'm obsessed with cleaning videos. Like, I want to be a cleaning tiktok girl okay so if you could follow us on tiktok that would mean a lot it's daily dose of us home i also have an instagram which i post like the same content but obviously instagram i feel like you can be a lot more personal so i post like photos and everything on instagram as well so please follow us on both of them as well as my main instagram which is just demi donnelly x but today's video i asked over on my instagram what you wanted to say because i really wasn't sure what to film i just didn't really know and a lot of people said if you're going out to do shopping please could you do a come shop with me so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to home bargains wilkinson's poundland and um b and m because i need a variety of stuff so i thought i would just go to the mall and then i can show you what's new in them as well i'll be fully masked i'll sanitize my hands before and after each shop as well just to make sure that i'm not contaminating anything and i'll not touch anything unless i need to or unless i'm buying it so i will just visually show you on the camera what's new and then at the end of the video we'll do a um like a sit down little haul and i'll show you what i got honestly I actually think going to B&M Home Bargains and all the cheap shops is an addiction because I crave it. Like, I crave it like an addiction. And I think about it all the time and I want to go all of the time. And I just crave it. I crave going into them. I crave what's going to be new in the shops. I crave spending my money in these types of shops like does anybody else feel that or is it just me also i am a new woman i have contact lenses now and i've had glasses for nearly two years and never got contacts because i don't know it just seemed really hard to get them every time i rang the opticians about getting them they were like oh you have to get lessons and then because of covid they weren't doing the lessons anyway they brought the lessons back and now i have contacts and i feel like a new woman i can see without having to wear anything on my face i don't have my glasses steaming up when i have a mask on honestly it feels great it did take us a little while to get the gist of getting them in and out but i'm not quite there yet but i'm getting there i broke two of my canon cameras i'm just giving you a little life update because i feel like i update my instagram stories all the time but i never get to sit and chat with you so i broke two of my canon cameras so i'm currently trying to speak to canon to see if i can get them fixed the one that i'm filming on is kind of broken the screen when i flip it up so i can like see myself viewfinder doesn't flip because one of the little screws is missing this one i may be able to fix the one that i had yesterday i was trying to film a time lapse in the living room of hoovering and i dropped it and it fell and the lens won't go in or out so that one is fully bust so that one really does need to go to canon to see if it can get fixed after i've been to the shops i need to go to the post office because i have the monthly care packages to post so if you don't know each month i do a giveaway of care packages where i make up a little care package for my followers um last month sorry i've got something in my eye i don't know if it's the contact or if something's just fell in my eye yeah so last month five people won a care package this month three people won a care package just because they're a little bit higher value this month so i done three care packages honestly i love making them up i think it's so exciting and usually the people who receive them really love them so it makes us really happy okay so we are going to get our hand gel on Ta -da. get ourselves a mask at the ready we'll have a blue medical one here wash it on your nose pull it down a bit and we my friends are about to head into home bargains first and then we're going to go to wilkinson's and then poundland and then b and m and then the post office although i'll probably not bring you in the post office because that's a little bit boring some little galaxy chocolate chip cookie mix oh my god i mean not vegan but looks delicious we've got the dr pawpaw cosmetics for only two pound fifty honestly these are so good i've used the pink one several times before and i really like it if you've never ever had home bargains clothes get them right honestly i have this lounge chair and it's the most comfy thing it's a two-piece set so you get a top and trousers 
and honestly it's a nice grey colour. I wear it on quite a lot of my videos so you might have seen it on us before. You can actually get this cardigan which kind of matches but honestly the clothing is so nice. Ooh look at that little set there in a beige two piece set with like long pants and top. That's so cute like honestly the clothes are such a bargain it's only £14 what the heck. I mean this makes me feel very sad because I have an obsession with suitcases but I don't think I'll be using one anytime soon. But this pink one is super cute. I really like the hard roller ones. I like this white one as well actually. The smaller one is only £20 and this one is £25. That's actually such a bargain. I have some flash cleaning products but look at the pattern of it. It's pink leopard print and I love leopard print. It's a limited edition scent of cherry blossom so they have this which is like an all purpose cleaner. They also have the wipes as well. These are only $1.99 and then they have this which is like the spray and cherry blossom. The scent fill which is £4.49 and then they have the freshener as well. But I have so many of these so I'm not going to get it. Why do I feel like I need a giant Easter bunny at my age of 24? I definitely don't but he is adorable. Sean bought me one of these bears one year for Valentine's Day and I love it. But I just don't need that but I really want it but it's only £20 so I'm kind of like should I get him? No Demi don't get it. They actually have some real technique sponges in here. They have a huge one for $1.99 and then they have this one for $1.99 which comes with a little like um, travel holder as well. And then they have the half ones for $1.99 and then you can get the holder by itself. And then they have these marble printed brushes. They're such good value because in boots they're like really expensive. And then they also have a brush set as well from Real Techniques at $1.49. I think I might... Oh no, sorry. There's no brushes in it. It's actually just the storage holder. Still good value though. Oh my God. And then they have this one as well for $3.99 with three sponges in. So you have a bigger sponge, a medium sponge. Well, two medium sponges. That is such good value if you're looking for some new makeup sponges. They have a huge selection of the Olivia Hale makeup and honestly it's so affordable. It's like $129.99. Um, I think the most expensive thing is one twenty. Oh no, £2.29 for some of the brushes. Like this video if you want us to do like a full testing of this brand because I'm always very curious by it. They have the Make Your Own Bath Bomb set for £3.99 by Bubble Tea. This is so cute. If you've got any like little girls' beds just coming up or anything. So you get like the bath bomb mold and then the um like scented gel a little bag and then some bath salts as well they also have this 12 days of glow by the brand freeman for 2.99 and it's a face mask set i love sheet masks so this is very handy if you're running low on stock especially for 2.99 that's a bargain they then also have this from real techniques as well so i think it's um two miracle sponge and a cleanser for £2.49 they have loads of real techniques in which is actually such a good brand if you're looking for anything initial slippers oh my god they look so cute they look so fluffy as well i love it who would have thought i'd be so excited about the cleaning aisle but i honestly am these dish matics are honestly the best things they're only 89 pence and then you get the refills for 89 pence as well so i actually have one for my cleaning and then one for washing my dishes i also say on tiktok all of the time these scrub daddies and i, ha I am yet to own a scrub daddy because i feel like they're quite pricey for a sponge but when i next do a clean and restock i think i'm gonna get one and trial it out because they do loads of different ones not gonna lie i do love a good minky sponge they're two pound 49 in here and you can get lots of different patterned ones i actually have this one for when i'm cleaning like dog oriented stuff and then i have a few of the other ones as well but i do really like these sponges i would rate these sponges are actually really good as well i have them they're the bathmatic so it's like a duo sponge so you get like a rough side and then like a um what do you call i forgot what you call the other side like a non-scratch oh my god there's a word that i'm trying to think of microfiber i think it is anyway they're really good and i like mine this is my favorite toilet cleaner in the entire world i personally get the sea breeze one but they do also do it in flower burst i love it so 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 much and then i like these powders as well which are £2.39 and these are 99 pence so i get this one here which is ocean mist but they do also do a um, rose and apple blossom one as well this is such an adult thing to show you on one of these videos but these are only 9.99 here with the usb and when me and sean were doing the house up we bought these in um b and q and they were literally like 15 pound for the kitchen so if you need sockets i would highly recommend coming to home bargains i feel like such an adult showing you these but honestly that is so cheap 
if you're into cleaning they have some white vinegar spray here which i see loads of people use when they're cleaning for only 79 pence i'm yet to purchase one because i'm trying to get through all my cleaning products before i buy any more but i think i will do this on my next stock up this as well is actually really nice and it smells nice it's a four in one pine disinfectant spray by star drops and it's only 79 pence i have one of these currently in the office it's only 99 pence the fresh water one smells amazing but i really didn't like the smell of the wild berry one i thought it smelled a bit like sick but they're dead good they last up to eight weeks and honestly every time i walk in the office i can smell it it smells so good i have this power action spray mop for 6.99 and i have one and i really like it so you get the reusable heads and then you fill this up with your disinfectant solution and warm water and then it's got like a little hand action pump on it which you press and it like sprays water onto your floor um there like that that's what you do so you press that in and it sprays water and then you can go over it with your mouth they've got this little love heart weekly planner which has all the days in and then stuff you've got to do i think it's really cute and it's only 99 pence they also have a notebook in as well for £1.49 and then a little shopping list for 89 pence i'm tempted to buy one of these it's the little like embossed sticker things that make like jar plant one of them it's 11 99 so it's quite expensive but I feel like this would be really good for like all the little kitchen jars that I have and organising stuff. I actually really like this. I might get it. Oh, I don't know if I should or not. But anyway, if you're looking for something like that, this is incredible value. Walking down the whole mile and I really want some navy cushions for the living room sofa. But I'm yet to find any. So if anybody knows of anywhere that sells them, let me know. Oh my god, look at this little pack of face cloths for 89 pence. How cute. Oh. I'm a little bit windswept. Okay, so Home Bargains is done. Checkmate, we've done that. I'm gonna head to Wilkinson's and Poundland now because they're literally in the same industrial park just the other side. Um, and I'm gonna drive around because it's really windy and I'm debating whether I should get a subway or not. I haven't had one in a while and I really want one because I'm starving. But then on the other hand, I'm just like, mm, you shouldn't really get one because you're trying to eat good. Subway's not too bad though, so I might allow myself just to get a little cheeky subway while I'm out and about, you know. We'll see if that happens or not. Okay guys, and we're off. We're going to go into Wilkinson's now and then Poundland because it's right opposite Wilkinson's. And then b and You know what? I actually need to confess something though. So, a few weeks ago I'd done a Home Bargains haul and I said in that video that Home Bargains was my favourite out of Home Bargains and B&M. Well, last time I was in B&M... It was kind of my favourite. I feel like B&M offer more cleaning products, more homeware, like modern homeware stuff. And um, yeah, I was just shocked. I was like, oh my God. And when it was coming up to Sean's birthday, they had so, so much like novelty beers that I could get him. And that's like one of the things he'd asked for. So I think I might be more of a B&M girl. And I'm usually always more of a B&M girl when it comes to Christmas. Not like through the year. Usually home bargains my through the year shop. But I think I think B&M's like... I think it's pulling it out the bag basically. We'll have to see today how it is. Because I haven't been in about two, three weeks. But I could be mistaken. B&M could be the one. Just walk in Wilkinson's and they have some fabric conditioners from Lenore. They have three cents for three pound. Um, but it says as if dried outside. I don't really know what that means. But then anyway, they have spring awakening, summer breeze or pink blossom. Mega bottles of fairy liquid for two quid. Can't complain at that. They have this skin therapy brand, which I'm not sure if it's their own brand or if it's an actual different brand because it's really cheap. But they have some salt, bath foam, shower gel, body scrub and body lotion. And then face scrub and face wash and then they have like a vitamin c range as well so that looks super nice they also have such a huge range of simple skill care skin care and it's nearly all two pound which is really good this is actually really good i got sent the radiant booster and i actually really liked it that's two pound fifty here also have this zero brand which i've never heard of oh no skin academy zero and it's vegan so they have a face wash a day cream a night cream an eye cream and a hand and nail cream i've never seen this brand before so i have just looked at the prices and it is quite expensive six pound seventy five eight pound seventy five six pound seventy five and six pound seventy five so not the cheapest but it could be really good Vincent's is amazing for puppy toys so i like to stock up on puppy toys so that the pups are always stimulated and have new toys and they do some amazing ones in here for dead cheap they've got a big tug of war rope for four pound they have like this little stretchy animal this like rope thing for four pound honestly compared to the prices of pets at home they are so good three pound home bargains are really good as well for pet toys look at their little sloth 
for four pound how cute lots of teddies lots of different texture toys as well which is good they love that snake so i actually got dolly one of them snakes for her birthday and she loves it and the pups love it as well so what that's only four pounds got some rose gold pots and pans so they have like this little saucepan here for ten pound then they have a frying pan for ten pound then a big ass saucepan for twelve pound then they have like a griddle pan for £12 and then a casserole dish for £15 in like a nice rosy gold bronze colour. These Lenore Send Boosters are my absolute favourite. They're £8 and I'm sure they're cheaper than that in home bargains. So I'm going to have to check next time I'm in because I forgot to have a look. Because I do feel like that's, I don't feel like I pay £8 but it is a big bottle. But I've just seen that they actually have their own brand Send Boosters for £3 which is really good value but I'm not sure how good they'd be have their own band of fabric fresheners as well for a pound and a fabric conditioner they have this one which is like a berry scent and then this one which is whatever the hell that is that's in time i say this botonica brand i feel like it looks so bougie so they do like reed diffusers room sprays um, and wax candles i feel like it looks like such a bougie brand but it's actually quite affordable it like 10 pound for a candle 12 pound for a reed diffuser and four pound for a room spray oh my god so pretty they're actually really pretty and they're only five pound as well and they're the ones that keep your drinks hot or cold oh my god look at the colors oh i love it if you like zebras get yourself wilkinson's look at that they've got a zebra water bottle for five pound a little lunch box and then a thermal cup as well they actually have a floral patterned one as well and then lots of different alternatives down here all three and five pounds okay hello she is stunning look at that leopard print glass 14 pound for four and then they also have the tumbler glasses as well <gasps> very me very pretty this little dried flowered frame it's actually got like dried flowers in it i love this it's only eight pound as well they have like quite a rattan range here with like this they've got like a rabbit yeah this is actually a really cute home section got a bit of mustard homeware going on if that's your vibe i really like that black bathroom set that's cute i've just found some navy cushions which i'm very much a fan of for 12 pounds they've got like the fluffy ones or them ones but i like them but they've only got two and ideally i'd like four so that's not ideal but they are very 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 nice I think I may have to get them because they're actually the nicest ones that I've seen. But I want some littler ones as well. So they do have some littler ones here. So I may get some littler ones to go on the sofa with the navy ones. They have this brown colour which is quite nice. But I think it would clash too much with my, my sofa. Ideally I would have liked cream to tie in my rug. But they have the little and navy. But I feel like getting the little and navy with the big and navy would be too much navy. I wanted like two colours. So, a bit of an issue. But I think I'm going to get them big and navy ones because... They are definitely what I was looking for and I haven't been able to find them but I don't think I'll get the little ones. I wanted cream. If they just had a little cream one, my my day would have been made but it doesn't look like they do. I have some absolutely beautiful dried flowers if you want some fake flowers. Look at them red ones. They are absolutely stunning and they're only £2 as well. So many to choose from. Only I do prefer a fake flower and a fake plant. I like getting a bunch of flowers which last us like a week or two, but I couldn't keep a real plant alive. Like I probably could, but I have killed one or two in my lifetime and I just don't want to be responsible for it anymore. So the fake ones work for me perfect and they keep longer and they look good all season. So I had to upgrade from a basket, well, actually, from my hands to a basket and from a basket to a trolley. I'm not in Morrison's, I'm in Wilkinson's, but they're very near each other. And just said I was allowed to use this trolley in here because the bedding in here is absolutely amazing. It's literally so affordable, and me and Sean really needed some new bedding. So I'm getting us some sheets, some pillowcases, I'm getting the navy cushions because I actually had two more behind the scenes, behind the scenes in the workshop. In the workshop, is it the workshop? You know, they had two more behind the shop. So the navy cushions are going in the basket. I'm hoping when I go home, uh, I've been to home bargains. I'm hoping when I go to B&M, they'll have some that'll match this for the living room. But yeah, bedding, double duvet, pillows, because Sean keeps complaining about the pillows. All in the basket. Really love this toilet roll holder in brass. It's like antique brass. It's nine pound, and then they've got the towel rail thing. I really, really, really like them, but I don't feel they'd fit anywhere. Actually, I feel I might get that for the downstairs toilet because ours is looking a bit grubby. I know antique brass kind of looks a bit old-fashioned, but I like it. Or should I just get the black one to stay modern? I feel like Sean would be like, "Oh, I don't like that. I want the black one." I don't think he'd like the gold one, but I do. So, not really sure what. I'd well probably shouldn't have gone into Wilkinson's but I was in a shopping park and there's a Wilkinson's in here and I was like you know I could really do with that radiator paint so I can get the radiators revamped went in there didn't get the radiator paint and spent 150 quid 
on bedding. Which I wasn't going to get any bedding. I didn't need bedding. But Sean has been whinging that he's got a bad neck because apparently our pillows aren't poofy enough. And to be honest, whenever I bought any new pillows or cushions or anything like that when we moved into the house, I brought mine from my house and he brought his. And his are fine, but we use them as the bottom ones. And the ones that I had in my house are like really old and to be honest i like an old cushion i like it when they're a bit deflated looking and they're like nice and flat because i don't like a cushion i could probably sleep without a cushion but i do have like a really stingy little cushion so i seen in there they had some cushions like pillows so i bought some pillows then they had the navy cushions that i've been looking for for ages and i thought well they would go perfect in the living room so i got them and yeah 150 quid later i got bed sheets more bedding I just got fitted sheets, I got white pillowcases, I got a bathroom toilet holder because actually when I was cleaning the bathroom this morning I did notice ours was snapped so we did actually need that but yeah wasn't expecting to spend that much probably shouldn't have spent that much but I have it's done we're moving on so I've got home bargains and pound land left to go to so we're gonna head there now in home bargains I really need some food stuff I find sorry i've been to home bargains jesus christ demi man get your life sorted you know what guys i think this is an actual problem but i really really struggle to speak and i get confused really easily i muddle all my words up and i'm trying to speak slower so that i can think about what i'm saying more but i've really over the last like six months found my speech has got really bad and i know it's quite laughable when i say something that's funny but now I'm actually like really, really worried about it because I'm like, what if it's like something to do with my brain? So I might go and get that checked or am I, am I, or am I just being dramatic? But my, I really struggle to articulate a sentence. I really struggle to like speak. And sometimes I say words that aren't the word, but it like comes out wrong. But words that I know how to pronounce, not when I don't know how to pronounce something, that's just me being an idiot and my dyslexia. But like words that I know how to pronounce, like scientific, I say it wrong so many times. And I don't know if it's just because I'm Russian, I don't know if it's because I feel like there's too much going on in my head. But then sometimes when I speak as well, I feel like my brain has to really work, like really work for us to be able to string a sentence together. Then I get a headache. I'm a bit weird aren't I but this is like literally something I've been going through for the last few months and I feel like maybe it's lockdowns done it as well not being able to socialize with as many people as I would so I've naturally not had to like string sentences together but yeah I have really been struggling with it recently and I'm actually growing a little bit concerned about it because at first I was laughing about it and I was like Jesus Christ but now I'm like actually what if there's something wrong with my brain so yeah does anybody else have this situation going on with them Anyway, home bargains, pound land, I'm coming for you. I read, not home bargains, Demi, you've been to home bargains. B&M and pound land, I'm coming for you. I really hope in B&M they've got pillows to match the navy ones for the living room. I'm thinking cream because we've got a cream rug, so I'm thinking that would go really well. Okay, guys, so I'm in B&M. Oh. I'm in B&M and they have the Fabulosa cleanser for £1.99 and then they also have the washing up liquids as well for £1.49, the rhubarb and rainbow drop. Any vegan family members, they've got a Bourneville Easter egg for £1.99, the Breeze Air Freshener £1.99, Floral Gardens, it's such a pretty bottle and then they also have this one as well which is Bluebell and Crocus and then Phony and Cedar and Vanilla and Magnolia. Lots of different Sephora scents. Um, they actually have like quite a few of the big bottles as well. And they have these, Fabulosa Glass, Fabulosa Bathroom and all of the different sprays. Honestly, they have so much Fabulosa. They have the white and then they have this full section dedicated to Fabulosa. So they have the all-in-one sprays, which are really good for literally anything. This is the new scent, I believe, which is Blueberry Sugar. Then they have the foam fresheners for your carpets, which again, I really read. Then they have um, more all-in-one sprays, multi-surface polishes, and then they have this for stainless steel. So yeah, lots of options. Look at how pretty this section is. It's like really colourful and pretty. I really like it. Guys, I've had to cut the B&M trip short because the other screw has fell out the back of my camera, which means now I'm literally having to hold it with my full hand and I'm surprised it's even still working. So that's really disappointing because now I don't actually have a camera to film on because this one wouldn't work. Well, it is working, but 
it's not like I can't go around the shop because of the way that you, you, basically both my cameras are broke so I'm gonna have to cut the trip short um, they didn't have no cream cushions either which was a shame because I really thought they would have been there but I really think it's quite on brand with like the colours that they're having and that at the minute cream but they couldn't get any so I might look on Matalan and then click and collect some so yeah a little bit of a disaster about both my cameras I'm going to look for a local repair shop see if I can get them repaired or message Canon again and see if I can send them off to their repair team or feeling that I'll have to buy a new one which I really don't want to have to do but needs must because i really need a camera because it is my job so yeah that's a nightmare okay guys so i managed to fix one of my cameras so one of them had was missing two little screws so i took it from the other broken camera put the screws into this one and i've actually fixed one of my cameras so tech queen or what um the other one's still broken so hopefully i'll be able to get that one fixed but anyway that's exciting so i'm going to show you what i picked up in the shops i bought stuff from wilkinson's home bargains and I bought a few bits in B&M, but I had to dash out with B&M, but I still got quite a few bits. Anyway, so in Wilkinson's, I got these. These are the two anti-allergy pillows. They just look nice and thick. We'll love a thick daddy cushion. Sean was complaining that our cushions weren't thick enough for him and he was getting a bad neck, so I had to get some more. So I also picked up some bedding. I picked up 100% Egyptian cotton fit, fit, fitted sheet. I needed some more fitted sheets and I only like the fitted ones with the like elastic corners. The ones that are like long, I'm not here for them ones. I like the elastic corner ones so I got these, I got that. Then I also picked up um, Oxford pillowcases, two pack of white pillowcases. I actually got two of them, one for the spare room and one for our room. Then I got my navy cushions, which I'm very excited about. I love them. So these are going to go on the living room sofa. They're nice and big, although B&M didn't have any cream ones to go with it. So I'm still looking for cream ones. So if you know of any recommendations, please let me know. So I got four of them. I love them. Then I also got this from Wilkinson's, another fitted sheet for the spare room just because we needed some. Oh, don't fall. Then I got this, which is a sheer sucker duvet set in a double, and it's like textured. Um, so it's like a textured duvet set, and I really liked it, so I got that. It's white, though. That's a really risky colour for me to get. Don't know why. I thought a white bedding was a good idea, but in me little head, I did. And then I also got a double super big, <laughs> um, a double bed, a double bed. Yeah, I don't know you got a double bed, a double, what's it called? A double duvet because the pups have a duvet in their bed, we have a duvet on our bed and then we'll have a duvet in the ottoman stored downstairs, just another spare one for the pups. So I needed another one. So the one on our bed's not that great. So I'm gonna move that one to the spare room and then we're gonna have this one. I've got that. Stairs toilet, I got a toilet rolled holder. I went for the black. Even though I really love the gold, I feel like it could get dated quite quickly. So I thought we'll just go with the black one. So I got the toilet roll holder and then the matching towel holder because I noticed our towel holder snapped. So we did actually need them. And then the last thing I got in um, Wilkinson's is these drawers. So they're just plastic drawers. They were £15. It's four drawers and they're 20 litre drawer storage. I'm going to put this in the cupboard upstairs which i do need to clear because i've been stone stuff in it but i want to put it in there for bedding and towels because they've all the bedding and towels are being stored under our bed at the minute and it's just an absolute nightmare to get in and out of and there's so much in that it's like you can hardly open the drawers because they're that packed so i got these which are canny i just bought for 15 quid it's going in a cupboard like you won't even see it moving on to um b and actually picked up the wipes so i got these these are the wild rhubarb wipes i love the packaging it's weird right because i no longer get excited about max limited edition makeup and out like that i get excited about when fabulosa releases a new product anyway i really thought the wipes would be convenient just for anything i also got the other ones these are the electrify ones i got two sets of wipes I then also got another blast can. These are like air fresheners. They're so good. And I got the Electrify one. It smells amazing. I then also got another foam freshener. This is the Wild Rhubarb one. These are really good for little carpet or the big rug or the upstairs carpet. I really like these. I then also got this for the kitchen. It's just a little soap dispenser because currently, well, we did, we've never actually had a soap dispenser in there. I kept buying 
the soaps with the soap dispenser but now i'll be able just to buy normal ones and refill this so it's white as well so it matches the kitchen so i thought that was canny and it was only three pound actually that's quite pricey i thought it was about a quid but never mind three pound i then also got some more bowls because i nearly blew the house up the other day i honestly nearly blew the house up i bought these bowls around christmas time and they've got like silver snowflakes around them and i put one in the microwave by an accident and i'm usually so cautious and i just put it in there by an accident and i was like because oh, the, the microwave was like popping and i was like why is it doing that and then i just looked and i realized which bowl i'd put in i was like oh my god so we actually only have two bowls that can go in the microwave so i just bought two more plain white ones microwave friendly just a pound i then also got some like pasta bowls some bigger ones like this just so obviously if i'm having curry or pasta i can have it in the bowl so i picked them up and then the last thing that i got in b&m is some concentrated screen wash which has leaked why do things always leak for me this happens all of the time one pound 49 at some screen wash because my car is run out and home bargains come here home I got some tennis balls for the pups because I don't know what it is but I never bought the pups tennis balls when I first got them and we had none so we're living off like two tennis balls that I'm like constantly cautious we won't lose so I bought some more tennis balls batteries I honestly can never find batteries in the house and I always end up needing them so I bought this 20 pack of AAA and 20 pack of AA batteries because they're just so handy to have it then also bought this for the toilet it's the duck discs them little sticky things that you put in the toilet and i'm seeing them all over tiktok and i really wanted some because i think it looks better than the plastic things having the little gel so i got them i then also got a stapler because i have to do my tax return in april and i was getting organized my papers the other day and i needed a stapler so here i have one i then also got these which i thought would be canny they're scrubbing gloves so yeah they're actually like gloves that you wear but they've got like little textured bits so you can actually like scrub so you can clean with the glove i really like the idea of these they're called um they're from a brand called power action and i got the pink ones i got some more puppy milk for the pups the pups absolutely love this as a little treat um i believe it's goat's milk so i just stocked up on a few of these i just got a little sharpie because when I'm doing me care packages, I really wanted like a black marker. And the only ones I had were whiteboard markers. So they're like rubbed off. So I got this one. I got a bedding. So I actually have like an Aztec bedding from um, Home Bargains. And I really like it. But I've seen this one, which was kind of more warm toned with like reds and yellows. And I thought it was really cute. So I picked this one up as well. So that's another bedding that I bought this week. And then also just got these tiny little sticky labels. They're just really, really handy when I'm filing and organising my files just to be able to like notify what things are. And then the last thing that I got is these tiny little bookmark holders. This would be really good for my weekly planner and diary because I find normal bookmarks are just really inconvenient. But these are like little things that you stick on the top. So um, little, it is the little magnet grips the page. Um, they didn't have the best of like selection. So I went with the gardening ones because they just had like pretty flowers on there was like star wars ones but none of them really appealed to us but i thought this one was the cutest because i could just use the flower ones so yeah that is everything that i got that's my whole video my little come shop with me sorry i had to cut the come shop with me short camera issues but we're all up and running now so hopefully you enjoyed this video and yeah if you'd like to continue to see these videos please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and let us know any other video ideas you've got below and i'll see you again for another one bye Oh,